Hey YouTube, it's me again. I know I haven't talked to y'all for a while. Um, Lester even asked me where I've been today. So, I thought, well, you know, I haven't really done anything. Nothing exciting's happening for me to film for you all. I've just been, it's been so hot, really. I haven't really done anything. We can look at my little plants on the porch, though. And there's socks. He just came out, so I'll just bleed him. Look at that uh, double zombie. It's all the way down to the ground. And my ferns is doing pretty good. Look, that was that $5 fern. Look how big she is. I like her. She's done real good. Just sitting there, because you know, these twirl. I put them on a, I put them on a string, so like, you know, like when the wind blows, see, they can twirl so they don't just like soak in the sun, you know, you know what I mean? They don't soak the sun in all at one time. So, look at her. Look at her. She's pretty. I like her. <laughs> I've liked her since I planted her. I don't know why. This one, I guess, well, she, she did turn out pretty. The sea, remember? I put them fake flowers in her. There's like six of them in there. But it fills her out real pretty. So, she's doing better than what I thought she was going to do. And then I put that colas in back there when I thought it wasn't going to do anything. Okay. Look at these. Look at this big old canna. That doesn't look anything like the picture. Um, the picture, it was variegated. You know, the it was white and green stripe. But look, look how big those leaves are. Look, that's a that's a good size. That's a good size leaf. I mean, they're pretty good size. <laughs> anyway, my daisies are doing good, but I'm sort of worried that it's. You think it's shading my daisy too much? These aren't as big on this side. And then this little rose. It hasn't done anything, but you see, it's got some new growth on it. So. Let's see, let's see. I like these little, I call them yellow daisies. But I'll tell you what I want. See where this orange thing is right there? I want some black-eyed Susans for right there. And that way I'd have three different kind of daisies. And then, I, you know, I want it to be matchy-matchy. So I'd like to have a black-eyed Susan right there too. Oh, I'll get that. I'm going to get seeds. I think it's, if, well, I think it's too late to really put stuff out. Um, my roses didn't do as good as they did last year, but see, I did all that. See all that burnt stuff? That was from me throwing baking soda on it like an idiot. I should have researched a little bit more, but that's okay. You know, you live and you learn. That's what gardening is, is, is you live and you learn. Okay, so, now see, let me get out of the light. I don't know if that's ready to deadhead or if it's going to pop back out again because it's already done it twice. And that lady said if you deadhead them, there's my Frankie girl back there. Frankie! There's Mama's girl. Um, they said uh, if you deadhead them, you keep them till October. So, I'd like to keep them till. And here's the new one. Look at her up close. Isn't she pretty? She's like, um,. Sort of an orangey pink with a purple center. I like her. And then I planted that other daisy that was in the pot. I planted it right there. See, I wouldn't mind having another. Well, I really would like to sort of jam pack it full of just perennials, you know, and then then I don't have to worry. Uh, she's not. Let, let's look at the elfin ears while we're over here. Elfin ears are doing pretty good. I didn't dig that these these were in the ground all winter and they came back. That one too. But I think what I'm gonna do is uh I think I'm gonna take my hydrangeas aren't doing anything. Um I think I'm gonna take the biggest stalk and I think that one right there. I think that's the biggest stalk. I think I'm gonna dig one good bulb up, you know. Just in case we have a really bad winter. And they say that um, when you dig them up and, and replant them, they get bigger and bigger every year. That was it. I don't know if y'all remember because it's been a long time ago. But um, when I dug them up and 
and stored them and replanted them. I held that in my hand. It was huge. Well, well, she got all that new growth right there. She don't look like cheese. I don't know. I don't know. So she's looking cute, right? The house is looking cute. That's about all I can do. But I'll tell you what. Um, I found some corbels for $44.95 on, um, on, um, you know the corbels that go in the corners. You know those little, like, Victorian house stuff. I found one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I found eight, but then I would, I could put them everywhere but, like, up there, you know. I would need ten of them to put them, to put one, you know, right there. So, there's my Frankie girl. She's been hanging outside a whole lot. She must like this hot weather. I, I don't care for it. I've been staying undercover in the house. Even keeping the door shut. Oh, look. I still have a, a flower on her. Um, we see these. See, that used to be a flower, but it turned green. That's She'll, she'll turn green. But look, now this is the one I planted. Remember, it was like a real bright pink, almost like that Impatience. And they just turned sort of a, a darker color, which I like that better. But that's okay. I'm going to dig these up and separate them. I'm going to, you know, it's, yeah. I'd like to give some away, but I don't know anybody who'd want them. I just think she's pretty. I like her. I think it's because I got that dark coleus. I think that's what I like about her. And these white um, hostas in the evening. Well, they're not white hostas, but the, the white bloom. See, don't they look like a honeysuckle? In the evening, they produce the best smell. I mean, these are spent, these two. These two um, hostas are two different kinds. I put them there together, but they're, they've already did their little. But these are just now blooming. They're just starting. There'll be tons. They, they just shoot out all kinds of white blooms. And it just smells so good in the evening. So, let's see. There's my four o'clocks. I should, um, you know what? I'm going to. Let me stop this. Here they are in bloom. They're not all the way bloomed out, but I didn't feel like waiting anymore. <laughs> I was going to go ahead and put this video out. You can still see where they laid down right there but you know what that's okay because usually it's laid way out in the yard so anyway i just wanted to show you how pretty they are this evening when they bloom because they're, they're gorgeous they're beautiful I, I mowed a bunch down on that side of the fence but i don't care and then lucky here this is my pride and joy right here a green grape I can't remember the name of it but the one that didn't come up was Reliance I can remember the name of that isn't that awful <laughs> anyway so she was it was uh, I think I paid four dollars they were marked down I, I laid them over on the table and let them bake in the sun for a week I can't believe that she even really lived so that's good she had a hard start and then then the bugs was trying to eat on her and stuff at the beginning so she struggled a little bit. That makes her better. And then, well, see, here's another one. Remember, the hers were black. Her, um, and they sort of turned green, haven't they? And then I put a, a coleus right there because it wasn't doing too good in the pot over there. I cut the onions back. Look at this. I, I, I dug a bunch of these up um, and put them over by the pond. And I need to dig a few. Well, in the very back, back there, I did dig up some from the pond. And that's why it bloomed over here. I had like, and then this one right here. That's one from the pond right there. So, that way I can get blooms for two months. I know y'all get sick of me saying that. Uh, fairy garden. She don't look too much like Kaka, does she? She looks, she's got a lot of blooms and stuff. I need to go over and 
pick the fairies up and fix their fences and stuff, but I don't really care. It's too hot. It's too hot. And you know what? This little girl right here for $8.88. Remember, I was mad because she wasn't a um, perennial. She has just really been cute. She's really, she's really um, collared it up a little bit back here. Um, my elephant ears. I took this one out right here because it was in the pot, but it was so big. And I thought, I'm going to give it some room to grow. Uh, she just produced some more. That's all she's doing. I don't know if she's going to grow bigger or not. So, there's that stuff. Uh, poor old fish. Their, their water's so green. I took about half of it out about a week ago. Where that 100 degree sun just beats on it. Um, I took about half of the water out and, and replenished it with water. And it was it almost cleared up. But, um, I've been cleaning that filter, like, mm, at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. But it's not really touching that green. Look at them. Haven't fed them since this morning. I just got home from my Wednesday job. Hi, babies. Are you starving? Y'all's big enough for a fish sandwich now. There's a, a can of coming up. And there's a can of coming up. And then I took that um, that green stuff right there. I took it out of that pot out front because it wasn't wasn't getting any sun where it was at. So uh, that was one a little bit right there, but room now. So right there's where um, that where it looks brownish. That's that's the one I planted from over there. I planted a couple of places over here. But I need to, like, dig some of this up and put it over there. Put just one or two nice size ones. So, and then I plant, I thought I, oh, I thought I planted something over here. And I, I thought I moved. Oh, I did. I planted some of that right there. Let me see something like this burns away so they can get some sun yeah I planted I planted some of that lily over here but I put see she's already starting to do something she's hanging on too she usually looks exactly the same I know it's not the same two flowers but it always looks like she just got two little flowers let's see anything else to show you guys Frankie, I got little tenders right there. I wish you wouldn't walk in there. I did collect uh, some seeds off of this, off of her. I got them put up because what I was thinking is I'll start them in the house, maybe about four or five of them, and put them, and put them right there, you know, for next year. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to get, but i got to wait about uh, a couple weeks, is uh, I want some Queen Anne's Lace. You'd think they'd be some up there by that old nasty house, but no such luck. Um, I want some Queen Anne's lace. I want some seeds, and I want to start them. And you know what? I know I usually don't do this in my videos. I do complain a little bit, you know, about stuff. But I want y'all to look at this. Y'all, this is my neighborhood. That's why y'all hear me say, all I can do is take care of my square. Nosy Rosie! She's deaf. She don't hear me no more. It's Dad's house. I mowed his grass, too. <clears throat> Look at all this garbage. That's a whole bag of garbage just laying there. Whole bag of garbage. It smells like... I don't know what it smells like. This is this is my neighborhood. This is what they think of my neighborhood. This is the people that I have to live by. It smells horrific. Look at that. There's a mattress. It's been here for a long time. 
it's been here for a couple, for at least two or three weeks. And ain't nobody doing nothing about it. Dad's called the city a couple times. Look, I, this is a city. Yeah, it might be a, a, it might be a little city, but we pay personal property taxes on our houses and cars and, um, you know, just, isn't that sad that I have to live like that? Don't make any sense to me. So, but anyway, I probably shouldn't have showed you all that, but. <laughs> Exciting, exciting. This house, thank, I'm thank God that nobody lives in that. I guess the last people that lived there, they tore it up so bad that they can't rent it. Yay. And those two houses, those are condemned. They're boarded up, but um, homeless people are living in them. That one lady up there was calling on them all the time. I thought, just let them stay the wind up burning it down. And then see, look at those two houses. They don't care what their houses look like. I'm so glad that that house in this field burnt down years ago because at least I don't have to look at a nasty house there, you know. I just look at the field. I like that field. So, and there's always trash out in front of my house. Sometimes, sometimes I leave my square and pick it up and just sometimes I just don't. Sometimes I just do my square and call it a day, man. Shh. You know, you just can't, you can't do, I mean, I guess I could, I don't know. I'm not going to go up there and clean that trash up. I sure am not. I don't think it's my place. Anyway, <laughs> quit complaining and whining and stuff. So, it's just really hot. Oh, 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 before I get off here, I did, I don't know how many of my subscribers are readers. Um. I'm not going to go through everything that I've read in the last year or two, but it's all been crap. It's all just, I'm thinking, my gosh, I can't get a good book for nothing. And uh, I read, it's called Where the Crawl Dads Sing. I'm going to tell you what, that book, oh, I cried. I don't know how many times. I had to put that, that I had to put that book down one time because I had, I was crying so much that I couldn't read. I had so many tears in my eyes I couldn't read. But when a book affects you like that, that's a good book. And I'm telling you what, I really feel like I need to uh, tell y'all how good it was. Because if, if any of y'all been looking for a good book to read, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I hated when it ended. It was like, uh, because I haven't read a good book for a long time, but that was, uh, That'll go on the list of, of one of my favorite books I've ever read. So, um, if y'all's looking good for a good summer read, it's Where the Crawl Dads Sing. And I guess there's a movie too, but I haven't seen it. And after the book, I don't know if I want to see it. I, you know, sometimes the movie, the movie's just nowhere near the books, you know. So, anyway, um, I did want to tell you about that little book too. And I'm getting ready to read, um, they said if you like that book, you'll like, uh, Oh, shoot. What's it called? Oh, The Girls That Live in the House of Stilts. On Stilts. So, um, I should be getting it in the mail in the next couple of days. You know I get my books used off eBay. So, um, and then I'm looking for, um, there's another book out, and it's called The God of the Woods. But it's still like 20 bucks on eBay. So, I'll have to wait for it to, I'll have to wait for it to calm down. It's a newer book. So, and it's got rave reviews. So, Anyway, if y'all's looking for a good book, I, that's the one I'm suggesting. And, uh, see y'all later. I got fresh, I just got a fresh pot of coffee in there, so I'll talk to y'all later.